So, part of your homework every week is going to be reading a book that I send home in your homework bag. The book is probably going to look something like this. This is Decodable Book 1. Now, this book has two different types of words in it that I wanted to talk about really quickly. There are sight words and there are decodable words. So we're gonna take a look at the difference between those two types of words. So the first type of word that we're dealing with here are sight words, sometimes called high frequency words, because you guessed it, these are the words that come up most often when we are reading and writing. So if your book looks like this, it's a blue, little book in the back there's going to be a list of high frequency words and a list of decodable words high frequency words are words that might be hard to sound out they might not follow the normal phonics patterns so the hope is that these are words we memorize you can see it you can say it you do not sound out sight words. If you learn your sight words like you're supposed to, reading will go so much quicker for you and a lot less stressful. So again, sight words occur most often in a text and these are words that we want to memorize, not sound out. The other types of words we're dealing with here are called decodable words. And they're called that because kids are able to sound them out. We don't need to memorize them. They probably don't occur that often in a text, first of all, and they follow the CVC phonics pattern at this point when we're reading books like this. Um, so that means that there's a consonant, there's a vowel in the middle, and another consonant, and the vowel will always make the short vowel sound. So, like in this book, one of the decodable words is uh, big. So they know the sounds for all those letters. B, I, G, big, blend it together. So those are decodable words. You're not supposed to memorize them. You're supposed to sound them out. So when you're reading with your kiddo at home, Remember, memorize the sight words, sound out the decodable words, and if you forget which is which, you can always peek in the back of your book for help. Have fun reading, everyone.